Um, Troy's in Perth. Troy started his own um, uh, uh, non-profit for uh, mental health, which is uh, Beacon Fight for Life. He can share a bit about that. And just to update Troy, awesome. what we're doing, mate, is we're just talking a little bit about the effects of not not so much, you know, the politics of COVID, but we ended up going there anyway. Um, but uh, it's about the mental health, how it's affecting people, how you're dealing with it, how your friends are dealing with it. Um, Matt is you've probably got by now he's walking for mental health and suicide awareness um and just a little bit matt for troy um troy has has sadly had that occur in his life um the loss of loved ones um through suicide troy has been through a hell hole with a story you couldn't even write in a movie well you could but <laughs> I'm doing it. Um, yeah, it could have like, but you can people <laughs> can check that out. Uh, Troy's on one of our previous interviews where um, he uh, he was had a successful business renovating houses, renting houses, selling whatever he did, and then some tenants made. Uh, I'll get straight to the point. Murdered someone in the house he was renting them. You know, got rid of him in the bathtub. Troy, unbeknownst to him, went and helped them move out because he's trying to get them out of his house. And he was seeing ca- these guys were carrying bags out of the house, which unbeknownst to him was the body in the bag. And then Troy got hauled into it. Uh, they thought he was part of it. And it's been a hell hole for him since. But Troy is a strong guy. He's jumped out of that hell hole and he's fought it and he's not laying down. And with everything else that's gone on in his life in that time, he's another guy that, uh, you know, is in the same vein of us you're walking 5,000 k's I couldn't do it we're all walking our 5,000 k's even if we're standing still um so uh you know yeah. that's a bit of Troy's story so Troy welcome and meet uh meet Matt yeah how are you man how are you Andy? Okay, I'm good man, <laughs> Bro, you, man? that is the Do most it. hectic story <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit <laughs> Yeah, crazy, crazy story, but I think you know. I think we all go through our own different trials and tribulations throughout our life, and it's just a matter of most uh, definitely. Being, being believe it's not what happens; it's how you deal with it. But definitely had some dark days and some times. But uh, you know, I think I think as men, we a lot of our self worth to financial things and looking after our loved ones and all that sort of stuff. So you know, I had a few few meal there worth of properties and whatnot, and lost it all and fought fighting back. I guess. Um, Ran for a seat in Parliament at the start of the year and, yeah, acting career, all that sort of stuff. So just um, took a few years off that and now hit the ground running and I don't know, seven ads since the start of the year and bits and pieces. So just chipping away with it all. Um, but, yeah, yep. it's, uh, mate, on your behalf, um, good on you, man. Like, what you're doing is just inspiring others and it takes some balls to, to put on some thick socks and <laughs> walk the amount of cage you're doing. Yeah. Yeah it, yeah, it does, man. That or stupidity or... <laughs> <laughs>